Hello, I'm Bearded Femme and welcome to the channel. Thank you as always for checking this out. Make sure if you enjoy it, you smash the like button and if you're new, feel free to subscribe. Got loads of content coming out soon. Uh, a few of my stories, got a, maybe have a few experiments and then I've got a long-term custom club series, which I'm in the process of putting together, but that's a lot of work. So if you're waiting for that, just be patient. It might be a couple of weeks. So in the meantime, I'm just doing a few fillers. So I'm just challenging myself and I'm gonna maybe try a few different things, see what inspires me. So you may or may not know, but I did Manchester United as my first save, uh, two seasons with United um, on FM21, and it went really well, and I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to do something different, but I wanted to just stay in the Premier League and just go to the complete opposite end of the Premier League. So using Football Manager, I looked at the table and looked at their bookies odds, and the clear favourites to be bottom was West Brom. I've got no affiliation with West Brom. If you're a Wolves fan, a Villa fan, or a Birmingham fan, I do apologise. Um, but they just I just wanted to pick the bottom team. It didn't matter who they were. And I think West Brom were 1,000 to 1. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to see how well can I do in the Premier League this first season uh, with no money, with an average team, but playing the same kind of football I always play. I don't want to play defensive. I would never sit back and hope to get you on the break. It's not my style. So can I be successful? We're going to find out. I'm probably only going to do one season, three episodes. So hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you're going to stick with it. Hopefully you're going to enjoy it. So let's get into it. Now, welcome to West Bromwich Albion. Um, we're going to be playing at the Hawthorns, as you know. Pretty decent sized stadium. I love the home kit, but wow. Whoever, who bought them kits? They look shocking. Even David Beckham couldn't make them kits look good. They look terrible. Um, but anyway, West Brom did the toning out of the Premier League. They had a good stint in the Prem and then they've gone back down and they've recently just come back up. Now they've got an okay squad, we'll take a look at that, but I'm not, I'm not gonna have any money really. I'm, I'm gonna try and pick up a couple of frees. I think the only thing I can do is hope they all get a red round my tactic, even though it is better when you're a top team. And hope I can rebuild this staff and give myself some form of advantage. Now, I sold a couple of players, I sold a keeper and a couple of randoms, uh, nothing special. And I've been able to generate a bit of money. But I'm going to pump all that money right into the wages because I need it for staff. Definitely need it for the staff. And I do make three signings. We'll have a look in a minute. Now, it's a club with a bit of history. They have won five FA Cups. I didn't know that. I know they've won one. I didn't know they won five. And they've won the, the top flight league one. So, you know, it's a club with some good history. I've, seen, I've been to the stadium. I like it. It's quite quirky. Um, if you're wondering about the title of the series, it's named after one of their favourite songs. If you're a West Brom fan, let me know if it is your favourite song because when I did the research, it's the one that came up the most. So that's why the series is named that. So of course they want me to fight bravely against relegation, get to the fourth round of both cups, we'll see how that goes, develop youth players using the club's youth system uh, and fight bravely. Just gotta fight bravely. I haven't been in a relegation dogfight for ages. I was quite excited about it. Now, when it comes to developing the youngsters, we haven't got state-of-the-art facilities. I was hoping maybe we'll be able to improve that at some point. Um, but they're not bad. Great training, great youth, um, good academy, good youth coaching. It's just the staff. It's a sorry state of affairs, and I didn't like it at all. So I was going to scrap the lot of them, completely scrap them, and rebuild. And even with the new rules now on Football Manager 21, I think you have to have work permits to certain people. You can't just go out there and get anyone. Um, there's still a lot of great staff, especially in the UK. Um, but I was going to work a few wonders. We're going to definitely improve it and hopefully kick this club on a little bit and do just enough to stay in the league. Because like I said, they are rock bottom favourites. 1,000 to 1. Next team's Newcastle at 900 to 1. That's a bit disrespectful. So you don't know how much this is true. And um, I thought Fulham would be down there. Maybe a Burnley or a Palace. Newcastle. I was shocked by that when I saw that. But West Brom were at the bottom. That's the reason I've chosen. Um, so I've only got to be better than three teams. And that's the aim, be better than three teams. But I'm hoping to still play good football and maybe nick a result here or there. That'd be fun. So I made three signings and one of the first ones was one loan signing. Now this is proof that sometimes when you go looking for a loan player and you click interested, you only go for them. Sometimes it is worth it just unclicking that, even though they're apparently uninterested. Go for it sometimes and they'll still go through, they'll still accept. And that happened with Palestri who I know is a good little player, I had him at United on my last save and I just needed a bit of something to help out at the front um, and he was the best, I just 
didn't think he'd accept it but I took a punt on it and he did so I'll snatch that don't know if he's going to be a starter but he, he will definitely help now there's a lot of forward players here at the club there is but my only out and out actual natural striker is Charlie Austin and he's injured at the beginning of the game um, so I've got Daniel Sturridge on a free 24 grand a week I think he's played for West Brom again in the past pretty sure he has if I go down here yeah West Brom six games no goals Hopefully he can improve on that this time. Um, <laughs> he was free. Uh, and I still think he's got Summit. He's nicked me a couple of goals. I mean, he's only 31. My last signing was Jack Wilshire. I needed a central midfielder. And I think he's decent. For the level we're at, he's decent. He's not the best sign at West Ham. It is what it is. I mean, he maybe peaked one of them players like my Michael Owen. He peaked early because he was classed back a few years ago. But he's still a good player. And I think he's now my best midfielder, which says a lot about my team. That's it. That's all I could do. The rest of the money went straight to the wages for my new staff. Which, as you can see, is a massive improvement. And I did. I've stripped it. We've added positions as well, which is good. Um, at this stage, I'm still trying to get another recruitment analysis in. I'm just trying to get as much as I can. Physio team's pretty decent. I mean, if we click on that, second best in the league. I will take that. Goalkeeping, everything's good. Mental coaching, it's all really good. My fitness could be better, of course, but I ain't got the space. Um, so I was well happy with that. And I found an old classic and he was willing to come. This guy's only a coach, but I've had him on before on multiple saves as an assistant. Switching to an assistant, I think he's fantastic. Um, so he's really going to help me out. And like I said, the coaching team's better. It's not the best, but it would definitely give us something extra that we didn't have. So I did mention him, possibly only going to do one season. Depending on how successful this series is, if people really are into watching me struggle at the bottom of the league, uh, I might do a second season, we'll see how it goes. So I'm always planning anyway. So what I've done is I've decided to set up some scouting lists and start scouting some players. Um, so I have been scouting the championship. I'm also going to scout players whose contracts run out uh, in 12 months time. So I've got a, a, a list there and then any under 21s who are interested as well. Just to give myself options, maybe, because if I can stay in the Premier League and I do a second season, I should have some money from the Premier League to maybe make a good couple of signings and uh, kick on a little bit so i'm always planning it's good to plan before we look at the main squad though i want to show you pre-season so you start off playing your second 11. i don't know why but you do can't get rid of that uh, and then i scrapped pre-season and did my own so we were on tour we had a couple of games on tour and then we went on a cheeky little uh trip out to spain some nice weather things went pretty much to plan but i wasn't taking anything from this because the premier league it's a whole new thing. And this is the Premier League. You've probably seen already where we are. We are 15th. I've played five, won one, lost four, which looks quite bad. You know, in the relegation zone, like Tottenham. Why are Tottenham crap? I don't get it. Why are Everton crap? Weird this game sometimes. Um. So yeah, that one wins helped us. But to be fair, I know I'm sticking to my guns with my tactic, playing, trying to play nice football, attacking football. But it hasn't been that bad. Now we've played Liverpool, Leicester, Arsenal, Newcastle, all really good sides. Um, I thought we might get some out of the Newcastle game, but away at St. James's, let's be honest, is always tough. But I've not been battered. Liverpool's just a goal in it, just a goal in it at Leicester, just a goal in it with Arsenal, just a goal in it with Newcastle. So they were close. And then we come up against um, Tottenham, and I thought, we get beat again. And we beat them 2 0. We outplayed them. It was brilliant. Um, so today we're going to have a live come against Fulham because they're one of the teams that quite, you know, that we need to be beating. It's away from home. Um, so we'll see how that goes because they're not doing too bad. I think they're mid-table. I think so. Yeah. I can't wait for it. can't wait to actually share a game with you. But before we do, let's look at the team. So we'll just check the squad depth. So, you know, it's not... <laughs> I mean, it looks good with star ratings. Um, Wilshire was my best. Things have changed a little bit quite like that as the season's progressed. So at the back, we've got Johnston in net, ex United goalkeeper. Um, we've got old man Ivanovic, who used to be class. He used to be pretty good, didn't he? He's still pretty good. Just old, 36, wow. Um, Furlong and Gibbs, I don't think these two are that bad. i say Furlong's definitely better. Um, the centre halves, we've got this geezer. So I don't know many of the players, I know a few, but obviously the quality is not what I had at Manchester United. So, yeah, uh, Livermore, he used to be half decent, didn't he? He used to play for Hull. Uh, we've got Sawyers in the middle. 
He's not too bad. Obviously, you've seen Wilshire. Um, now, now, Grant is an attacking, more than inside forward, attacking wide man, but he can also play up front. And, and he's up there with Sturridge. Um, he's not bad. Finishing 16. I've been playing him as a striker. He's played a few games out wide um, on the left. Um, who else have we got? Let's have a quick look. I don't want to show you everyone because it takes forever. And just, you know, everyone's pretty bloody average, to be fair. He's played quite a few games and he's pretty decent, especially inside forward, left foot, cutting inside. Um, got Mr. Robinson here, Callum, only 25. He's pretty decent. We're decent. We're better than I thought we'd be. Um, we've just got to start picking up some points. Hopefully we can get some more today. Welcome to the team sheets. As you can see, I've picked a pretty decent team. We've beat Spurs. I know they're down there in the league and they were, a bit, they were like this when the United say they started slowly. They ended up sacking Jose. Um, but they're full of talent. That's top players. Um, so, you know, we're starting to maybe they're starting to get the better on the tactic. If you're wondering about the tactic, because I know I haven't showed it yet, it is basically the same tactic at United. Pretty much. And I've not made a tweak or two. Um, but I still just don't want to go for it. Like I said, I don't want to defend. Um, but we're coming up against a Fulham team that's started pretty well. They have, can't lie. But we could beat them. Hopefully we can beat them. So here we go. We're playing in our awful yellow and green kit. The bloody kits are terrible. Home kit's great, but the other kits are terrible. I like how Craven Cottage is having work done. Look at all that. Work done on two sides. Not many fans here today then, I'm guessing. Be interested. I've not even looked to what, what they're planning on it, the Craven Cottage. I've not looked at any future plans. I should do, really. Um, but yeah, we're going for this. Playing attacking, not positive. I'm going to see if I can just shock them. Um, but we have been doing all right. We've been matching teams for pass completed and possession. We've just been not had the quality to just get over the line. There we'll see we go. Here's Robinson charging. It's raining. Rain just follows me. If you watch my stuff, I reckon 99% of my live comms are in the rain no matter where we am. Even if it was in Abu Dhabi, it'd rain. Obviously, this is the proper game now. No more beta. Um, they've made a few changes. One change is this. They've added this bit now. Instead of just clicking on them, you can do team or individual. Don't know why, because you can do individual down here. But it is what it is. Here come Fulham. So three stands are getting done here at Fulham. Wow. Jesus, there must be about 10 people here. Um, also, when you're on the dugout, do you remember the clusterfuck of passes that just used to turn into a blob? I think they've sorted that out. They've tweaked that. I've not noticed many more changes. If you have from the beta to the full game, well done, Johnston. Um, let me know in the comments so I can check them out for myself. All right. Penalty ref. Robinson was brought down the box, but Townsend's picked it up. Do you know what? They've got, got some decent players. Hopefully, we might just have enough quality to stay in the league. And then if I do do a second season, it'd be quite cool to maybe pick up a signing here or there. Oh, there you go. Cheeky. Love it. 1-0. Because if you are waiting for me long-term custom series, especially if you're one of my patrons, one of the ones who's in it, um, it's, I've just got to wait. I've got to wait for a, a level 10 database. I think we're going to be going in around 7 or 8. And then I've got a lot of work to do with it. Which I can't start till I get that. So it could be weeks away. But I've got a few ideas. A few different things I'm going to try. Nice. Love it when you edit back like that. Control it. Take it. Come on. Let's get forward with it now. Half an hour gone. I think we are the better side. Here's Mr. Grant. Don't know too much about this lad. But I've liked what I've seen on Football Manager. And he nearly scored. Here we go again. The goal scorer on the right hand side. It's it with his left. Here he is again, my little right winger, left footed right winger. Quite like it though. Let's see if he can do anything. No, he's lost it. But I mean, Fulham, a bit dodgy in real life, aren't they? Oh, something about him. You just feel like. I imagine they do all right with their owners. But I think maybe his mind's too much on the NFL and wrestling. And Fulham comes third. Oh, lovely pass, lovely goal. See? You can still play decent football. Are we keeping that goal? Something looks weird. What's the referee doing? Checking the goal review. Come on, VAR, don't me over. Ah, oh, you bastard. steward. I'm not showing the replay. It was offside. Forget about it. Anyway, here's Fulham. Can they get themselves back into it towards the end of this first half? Hopefully not, because it should be 2-0. It's got a good bit of football, but that's the thing. You know, sometimes you think if you're shit, you've got to have a shit tactic or a defensive tactic. And that's what all my staff keep telling me to do. Go very defensive. They told me to go very defensive against Tottenham. Let's just sit back and take a ton of punishment. We're not got the best defenders. You might as well just try and play a bit of football. See if you can catch them off guard. 
it can work it's worked for me in the past i'm not saying we're going to win anything it's our time here at the craven cottage the building site that is craven cottage we're edging it just in chances edging it just in xg but yeah they're dominating the possession and better passing but not doing anything with it are they so yeah i am back at work as well which doesn't help and i think i've got i've got work next weekend and um, little boy had to go to hospital my baby nothing major it's all right he's all right now so i've lost a day at the weekend because i'm having to work that to make up for it so doing little series like this is easy for me I can just play it when i can and film it um, but I can't wait for my new series. I've been talking to the guy, the company, that are going to be making my shirts. It's the same company that's made a load of guys' shirts. Dr. Benji's shirts, I think, are going to be made by this company. So, the, you know, full detail. You can have my logo on one sleeve, the guy who designed it on the other sleeve. It's full sponsor. A bit of detailing as well. Um, so I'm going to see if any of you guys want it, if you're fans of the series, um, before I put the order in. We'll talk about it when the series starts, maybe. And then I might get a few extras to do giveaways with. I just think it'd be cool. It's that showing the love. I'm making no money on it. It's just all about having a bit of fun, seeing people in shirts for my custom team, which I just can't wait to get going with. Seriously, um, I've got a story in the pipeline, but that's going to take a lot to get sorted. I've got a bit of an, like a fun experiment um, that should hopefully be coming soon. It's a bit weird, but I am weird, so. I'll be bringing stuff out. I really wish I had more time to do stuff. Really do. I'd love to do some more guides because I watch some guides and they're all right. I really think I'd like to share my experience. And a lot of my guides now are getting quite old. It's still useful. People still tell me they're useful, but they're old, like three years old. So anyway, here's Fulham. They are looking like the better team and they've scored. Right, we need to sort this out now. Too much dilly dallying for my liking. Right, 20 minutes to go. It's 1 1. I've made three changes. I would have brought Wilshire off, but I haven't got anyone on the bench that could play midfield, which is brilliant. Um, Sturridge has come on, Palestri's come on, and Ivanovic. A bit of experience. He's come on at, back, at right back. Um, but I don't think anything's going to happen. But I would take a draw here. I'd take it. As long as I'm not getting beat all the time. Because it's been a long time since I've had my ass kick four games on the row. But here come Fulham. Can they do out? No. But I did, didn't I? Four times on a row at the start. Against good teams, or Leicester Arsenal, nothing to be ashamed about. Here we go, well over injury time. I think we're going to end up with a draw. Is it a fair result? No, I think they were better, but could have been 2-0. We had a goal disallowed. I'm still happy. I'll take a point away. We can build on that. Here we are with the Premier League. Liverpool are top, Manchester United are fifth. Look who's above them. Leeds. Leeds are good on this game, aren't they? Leeds are really good on this game, which reminds me, actually, I've almost forgot to share something with you but yeah Tottenham have got two games in hand we could get Southampton have got a game in hand we could get sucked right into that but I like this I like being in I want to be down here I've not been in a bit of a dog fight for a long time so I'm excited for it. it it really motivates me to play but I can't believe I haven't shared this the Carabao Cup we're in the quarterfinals against Chelsea that's probably where it ends for us but what reminded me was Leeds very good team fourth in the Premier League we beat them 1-0 we beat Fulham. 3 0 away. Forgot about that. I mean, these teams maybe not taking it seriously. I have took it serious. Let's just try and get some confidence. And we're doing all right. Barrow in the first, second round, sorry, the first game. Obviously, got Chelsea next. I'm not expecting to win it. It's just nice to go on a bit of a run. It was nice because I was losing games in the league, winning a cup game, losing the league, winning a cup game. So it didn't feel as bad. So we've got West Ham next. And of course, uh, Chelsea back to back in a Manchester sandwich United on top City on bottom that's not going to be a fun time I've got to play Fulham again pretty soon the fixtures are it's on this game I don't know what's going on with them I keep moaning about that I don't like it um, so I'll probably come around Christmas time some point play Sheffield United maybe play Palace try and win a game with you guys in a live comp unless we're in the cup final which I doubt but you never know because uh, I'm going to try and do three episodes that is the plan Hopefully, you're going to stick with it. So, there we have it. That is the end of the episode. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. You're going to come back for the next few. Really would appreciate it if you do see if I get sacked. Can I keep this club up? Big challenges. Can I win a Carabao Cup? I doubt it. Hopefully, Chelsea B team it. That's our only hope. Put a lot of kids out. That's our only hope. Like Obi Wan Kenobi. But yeah, thank you as always for watching. Really do appreciate it. If you really want to help the channel, you can always become a patron. And if you become a patron, you will become part of the database of my long term custom club 
series will be somewhere in there so you can play yourself if you want to um, and I appreciate all of you taking time out your busy day to watch this I really do hope you're all well hope you're happy and safe and I'll see you for the next one